Hey there, my name is Angela. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about using the Canon EF 50mm lens on a Canon M50. So I got my Canon M50 in February 2020. I'll pop up a video in one of these corners of me doing a review on the camera itself. But today I'm not going to be talking about the camera. I'm going to be talking about a lens. And at the moment I am shooting this on a Canon M50 the Canon M50, my Canon M50, and I have a 22 millimeter fixed lens on it that drops down to a 1.2 aperture. That's not the lens I'm talking about today, but I thought it is worth mentioning what I'm using to film this. So this right here is the lens that I am talking about today. It is the EF 50 millimeter lens. It is a fixed lens, so it does not zoom in and out, and it drops down to an f-stop of 1.8, so that makes it good for low light situations. Situations. Now this lens has an EF mount which means to use it on the Canon M50 you're gonna need a EF to M mount and I'll pop that right here. So this is the mount adapter that I was talking about. On this side it has a spot for EF lenses to screw in and then on this side you connect it to your M50 with an M mount. This thing cost me $103 renewed. I'll pop up a little of when I got it. I got it renewed on Amazon because I figured, hey, why not save like 50 to 100 bucks because other Amazon sellers have it for about $139. Best Buy has it for $199. So yeah, just don't go to Best Buy. I recommend you get it renewed, especially since it's not a lens and you don't have to worry about having dust in it because it doesn't really oop, there's no no lens or glass in there to collect us so i think it would be a waste to buy it full price plus for amazon renewed items they make sure that the item is like new and it goes through a quality check and you have a certain warranty on it so I recommend you buy Renewed. Speaking of prices, let's talk about this bad boy's price. So you can find this online on Amazon at about 150 bucks, but I got mine Renewed because like I said earlier, Amazon Renewed has a really good program that they quality check everything and then give you, I think it's a 90 day warranty on items. So yeah, um, I get most of my lenses. I think I've gotten all of my lenses actually Renewed on Amazon. And I haven't had a problem yet. So this was one of the many that I had gotten. And for a hundred bucks, this thing is so worth it. And it's definitely something you should add to your kit. I was honestly kind of hesitant to get it because I was stuck between getting this one and the lens I'm shooting with now, which is again, the 22 millimeter at 1.2 f-stop. And this one, it, they're just so different. The 22 versus the 50, I did not realize how different they were because I was so brand new to photography. I'm still very brand new to photography. So I thought, oh, I'll return one, of the, one or the other and keep the one that I'm most happy with. But when I was messing with them, I realized they were completely different lenses and I wanted to keep both of them. And I'm so glad I did. And for a hundred bucks, this is so worth it. One of the reasons why I got this lens was because of the f-stop. So it goes down to 1.8. A kit lens that comes with the Canon M50, the 15 to 45 millimeter, it only has an f-stop of 3.5. So that means it's not very good for low light situations. However, this one is. And what's cool about having a 1.8 f-stop is you can actually get more bokeh in the background. So just to give you an example here, right now I have this camera with this lens set at a 2.0 f-stop. Once it focuses on this, you can see that everything in the background right here, those lights are going very bokeh and that kind of effect is something that you can achieve with this lens as well because it drops down to a 1.8. Again, right now this is shooting at a 2.0. Another reason why I got this lens is that I heard it was an essential for portrait photography. And about a month or two ago, when I first got this lens, I took photos of my boyfriend's little sister. And these are the photos I got with this lens. 
that day, I found myself constantly putting this one back on just because the way it blurred out the background was so nice because of that f-stop. And I still, this is still one of the lenses that I reach to the most. Something that surprised me about this lens that I didn't quite expect to use it for is the ability to take landscapes with it. So I originally got it thinking portraits, 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 and then I started taking it out to take landscape photos of just, I don't know, houses and stuff like that. And it works really well for sunrise and sunset settings because of the low light. And I don't know, I'm very happy with the landscapes I've gotten with it. And I'll pop up some of those photos here. Now, I'm gonna show you some side-by-side -side comparison footage with this bad boy on versus a kit lens at 45 millimeters since this is 50 and it goes to 45. So you might be thinking, well, what? How big of a difference is that? And I'll show you that here. All right, so that is it for my video on the Canon EF 50 millimeter lens. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if this helped you make a purchasing decision, let me know down in the comments below. And if you wanna see more footage like this or just more of my stuff in general, don't forget to hit that subscribe button cause more is coming. And yeah, that's all I got for you. Until next time, bye.